Hello students, I am Swami Lekta from the Alamkul Institutions. Today we will study about more characteristics and uh, diversity taxonomy of this living world chapter. Okay, what is systemics, what is taxonomy, we will see in this chapter further. So, systemic is what? It is the study of the diversity of organism and their comparative and evolutionary systems. Means, if we are getting compared uh, with a lot of species according to their biochemistry, according to their economy, according to their uh, living system, according to morphology, anatomy, everything we get compared and we classify those organisms based on that comparison. Then it is what called a systemics because we systematically classify them according to these nature. Okay, so it is a study of diversity of organism and their comparative and evolutionary relationship, etc. Then it is broad term which include classification, nomenclature, taxonomical aid. It includes everything inside this systematics. Okay, systematic is broader term and it was given by Carolus Linnaeus. Then classification is done on the basis of external morphological characters. A new wave was also included which involves classification on the basis of both external and internal characters. So new systematics was given by Sir Julian Huxley. See, whenever a classification is done, it is done directly on both of the system by taking um, external structures also and by taking internal structures also. So earlier it was only the external structure, but now both the structures have been taken into account for the classification system. That is why it is called as new systematics and it was given by Sir Julian Huxley. Now, what is taxonomy? Taxonomy is what the principle and procedures that are followed by uh, in the process of classification. What are the processes we are following for the classification process, which uh, that will be called as taxonomy. For example, uh, if we are cooking something, so we follow certain kind of pattern. We certain uh, we follow the process like first putting the oil, then putting uh, onions, and then everything in it. Like, same way, taxonomy follows the process process of classification first identifying the species then uh, seeing what kind of a species uh, is found in what particular area and then according to those kind of uh, processes they classify so that is called as taxonomy this word was given by apd candole who has given this word apd candole taxonomy includes what identifying the organism then nomenclating it and then classifying it <coughs> according to its nature each of these is how to identify it aims at finding correct names and appropriate position of an organism for this morphological and anatomical characters are examined identify how do we identify a particular species or organism we find uh, the particular organism in that environment then we name them according to the process given by the iucn then after naming them we uh, identify their morphology and anatomy and then after that we uh, take them into the classification process morphology and anatomy uh, uh, when we identify these two characters then only we take them how to classify them okay then classification include what the grouping of organisms in different categories uh, like uh, if they are long kind of plants for example so all those plants which are long they will be put in that category so that is how we will classify any species or organism Okay. Various are the needs for classification. Okay, so three domains are there. Classification ke liye bahut sare needs hote hain. What are these needs? They are uh, basically the morphological characters, anatomical characters, biochemistry. Uh, what are their lifestyles? Everything has been studied for the classification. Then three domains of life. What are they? Archaea. They contain single uh, kingdom called Archaebacteria. Then bacteria. They contain prokaryotic organism. Single kingdom. It includes eubacteria. Then eukarya. They are eukaryotic organisms. Protista, fungi, plantae, and animalia are uh, included in the eukarya. Three domains of life. Whatever the organism or species are found, they will be classified under these three domains of the uh, category. Which three domains? Archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. These three domains will include and they, uh, according to these characteristics of morphology and anatomy, they will be classified under these three domains. Okay. Next is um, nomenclature. How we nomenclate after identifying, after uh, classifying, how we nomenclate particular species. Nomenclature basically means what? Naming of the species. Like uh, a new child is born, we uh, use certain kind of names. We use names to call them. So that is why whenever a new species is found, we uh, classify them and after classification, we nomenclate them. What are, uh, name we have to call them. Okay. So 
nomenclature is what it is system of naming the known and living organism that they are known by same name all over the world and no confusion should be there in the nomenclature okay then two different naming versions are available for naming common name or vernacular name means local name whatever these local names have been called in different different areas or different different parts of the country uh, even uh, is in different states name is being changed example is also given like rose gulab gulab rajapo everything is a single name for rose in several countries roses can uh, be called by several other name so that is why for making one single name for every species all over the world nomenclature is required and then scientific name scientific name is uh, done with the help of nomenclature only these names are given by biologist a single name is provided for an organism all over the world for example if i am saying uh, any example uh, like uh, uh, i am taking the example of uh, p pisum sativum so pisum sativum if i am saying so it is the same name all over the world wherever i go if i say pisum sativum means p okay but there are different names to other things like vernacular name common name so do not get in the common name so we don't have confusion in the common name we use scientific names binomial nomenclature means two naming method two system is there and this system of nomenclature was first given by carolus linnaeus in his book philosophica botanica linnaeus named plants according to binomial system in his book his species plantarum linnaeus is called as what father of binomial nomenclature because he was the first one who has given the system of this binomial nomenclature then binomial nomenclature is a system for providing special names to organism consisting of two names like this one onion is having allium sapa p is having pisum sativum banyan is having ficus bengaliensis this means basically two names one name is what one name is genus other name is species so that is how we give scientific name to a particular species and that is how we nomenclate each species then how we give what are the rules for binomial nomenclature rules are pretty simple it is given by international code for botanical nomenclature and uh, first rule is this one the names are generally in latin and written in italics if we are uh, names are derived from latin words and they are written in italics form they are latinized or derived from latin irrespective of origin why latin because these are dead languages there is no change in these kind of languages okay then first word in a biological name represent the genus while the second component denotes a specific epithet or species for example rana tigrina rana tigrina so first name is representing what genus it is representing genus and this one is representing a specific uh, epithet okay then third rule is what both the words in a biological name when handwritten they are separately underlined or printed in italics to indicate their latin origin if i am writing this so i should underline this and if uh scientific name are been printed in any book or somewhere so they should be printed in italics form so uh, so as to identify that uh, this is originated from latin then third rule is what the first word denoting the genus starts with capital letter while the specific epithet starts with a small letter here we see example is given i am also writing this i have started the first word with a capital letter then name of the author appears after the specific epithet that is at the end of biological name if for some uh, species uh, anyone want to write the author name or who has discovered or who has named that species so name is written after specific epithet that too in capital letters like example mangifera indica mango and after author name lin lin is what abbreviated for linnaeus and that too is started from capital letters when a species is transferred or revised then the name of the original worker is retained but in parenthesis example me saizium cumini this name has been revised but the original worker name is uh, written in what parenthesis form yani ki it is written in brackets then no names are recognized prior to those used by linnaeus in 1753 it is also what before 73 uh, 1753 is book species plantarum if any name was given to any plant that name is not recognized at all new system new addition has been given and after that system only the naming and the name has been recognized Uh, seventh is what generic and common name may be same gorilla gorilla means 
genus name and species name they can be same and the name of categories higher than the rank of genus are not printed in italics bold letters can however be used also think uh, the animal nomenclature we can use the same generic name and same specific uh, specific epithet but in the plant system we cannot use the same genus and same species name uh, we can write naja 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 it is animal nomenclature but we cannot write mangifera mangifera okay mangifera mangifera we cannot write this is also a rule we cannot write same genus and same specific epithet in a plant system but we can write same common genus and specific epithet in the animal system nomenclature so that is all for today's class that is all about diversity taxonomy and nomenclature in the next class we will talk about the taxonomy in detail okay bye for today